Uh, first, your reaction to the news of a case in Canada? No, it's awful to hear. Obviously, this is a, a very sad case. Someone succumbed to this illness. Um, and, and as we just heard, um, eastern equine encephalitis is an extremely rare infection, but it, it, it can happen. And uh, it's horrible to hear of a case in Canada, especially with a poor outcome like this. So provide some more insight for us. What do people know? What is Tripoli e and how does it spread? Jeremy touched on a little bit. Yeah, so this is a viral infection. It was initially discovered in the 1930s. The reason it's called Eastern Equine Encephalitis is because it was initially discovered in the Eastern United States in Massachusetts uh, in a horse, the equine, and it causes an encephalitis, which means an inflammation of the brain. Mosquitoes can pick up this virus from birds that have this infection, and then the mosquitoes can bite other animals, for example, humans, uh, as we heard in this case, and uh, horses are also pretty uh, uh, susceptible to developing severe infection. Um, there's no vaccine. There's no dedicated antiviral treatment. Uh, the treatment for this is supportive care. Of the people who pick up this virus, about five, five or so percent will uh, get this inflammation of the brain. If that does happen, it can be deadly. About a third of cases will die, and, and even if people recover, they're typically left with uh, neurologic dysfunction. But as we heard earlier, it's extraordinarily rare. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, between 2003 and 2022, there were roughly 200 reported cases of this. So rare, but, but deadly. Mm -hmm. The key issue here is prevention of mosquito bites to prevent infection. Rare. And this is a case in Ottawa. Of course, we have viewers from coast to coast. Is this something that other people outside the capital region, outside Ottawa, need to know about, need to uh, be uh, worried about? What is the level of concern in the Ottawa area and then further afield. So what's interesting about the Ottawa area was that there was a, a horse that was identified as having this infection in the summertime. So there were already warnings and public health warnings about mosquitoes that could carry and transmit this infection in the region. Um, you know, it, 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 it's not all that common. There's a lot of good reasons to prevent mosquito bites. One, they're itchy and we don't like them. Two, there's a much more common virus, West Nile virus, that, uh, that is circulating that most people will have a mild infection, but there are rare, serious complications of that. And then number three, Eastern equine encephalitis, which is extraordinarily rare. Is it here? Yep. But it's just, it's just not all that common. But again, no one wants a mosquito bite for any reason. Uh, and uh, the best thing to do is wear long sleeves and long pants. Of course, that's not practical if it's you know 30 degrees Celsius. So the uh, insect repellents do a very good job. Commercial available products mm -hmm. like 30% uh, DEET or 20% Icardin, which are you know, available just about everywhere in the country, uh, they do a great job. Of course, you've got to be reapplied if someone's uh, outdoors and sweating or if they've jumped in a pool or a lake and come out. But in general, it does a remarkable job in preventing infection and, and mosquito bites, which can transmit infection. All right. Great insight on this. Dr. Isaac Bogosh, an infectious disease specialist. Thanks so much for your time on this. My pleasure.